everyone. I am here with Seth, and Seth is the CEO of Avergon Marketing. They are a brand and marketing marketing strategy firm. And Seth works as a fractional CMO and also as a CEO advisor. So today I brought Seth in to have a conversation around Midri and messaging and specifically how those two play together. So Seth, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you. Excited to be here. Um, imagery and messaging, how they play together. First, let's talk about continuity, right? So um, your imagery and messaging kind of, the imagery is the initial hook that gets somebody to read the copy, to read, mm -hmm. to, 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 uh, to, to read the messaging. Um, but the two have to have this level of alignment, of cohesion that makes it work. So I, I like to give the example of if I were talking about a vacation in Paris and the image was that of a, a car wreck or a turned over train, that doesn't work, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Your imagery doesn't lend itself to the messaging. It doesn't inspire the messaging. It doesn't it, 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 there's a there's a disconnect. Um, and so the initial hook for any good ad campaign is always going to be the image first. Now, sometimes um, sometimes you'll develop the image. You, you'll develop your copy. Usually you'll develop your strategy and your copy first and they go, OK, what is the the quintessential image for that. But that's where you come in and saying, okay, here's the kind of imagery we should look at. Here's the kind of feeling this should have. Because beyond just a picture, there's an emotion. Yep. And and the best images, I'm going to tell you what you already know, the best images are telling a story, right? Um, and so how do we come up with imagery that speaks to that story, that doves tail beautifully into that messaging so we go from someone seeing a photograph of something they might want to reading messaging that aligns with that photograph to actually wanting and being willing to click on a button, mm -hmm. give their name, whatever that whatever that conversion is going to be, if we're talking digitally, um, to get them the next step to getting closer to buying that product or service. Um, so the image in many ways is really selling. We talk about features, do you ever this term features tell, benefits sell, right? Mm -hmm. uh, features like uh, it goes this fast, it, it stops in this distance, but why is that important? Well, it stops in this distance because it's safer. It goes as faster because you like to drive fast in your car, but your imagery is that benefit, is, is in another way selling that that story, that, that benefit of your product or service that someone's going to get excited about. So it starts there, and then they kind of read the facts a little bit, there's some features in there, and then it gets to again, okay, got it, this is why I want this thing. Exactly. Yeah, I always tell everyone, I'm like, your imagery is there to help educate, to get people to that next step. People aren't just going to read your description if they're right. not enticed first. Right. So. How do you make it so your imagery makes people want to learn more? Right. So it's both a hook, right? It's both that initial hook that's going to get them to read the copy. And it's also selling the story behind that brand, behind that messaging. And that's really, at the end of the day, marketing is an advanced form of storytelling. Yep. So, you know, do you want a book that has no pictures in it? Or do you want a book that has pictures in it? And in this case, we're talking about books with pictures because people like books with pictures. People like to see cover art. Right. Mm -hmm. If you think about it, if you're going to a bookstore, what's the first thing you see? You see the cover art and then maybe you read the, the subject line. You go, Oh, that's kind of interesting to me. You might read the back of it. You might read some of the, the different uh, reviews of, of that particular book, specific book, excuse me. But it started with the cover art. It started yeah. with the imagery that pulled someone forward in kind of a guttural way, uh, pulled them forward. So oh, I, I want to learn more about that thing. Yep. Definitely. Awesome. Well, if anyone wants to learn more or how they can work with you and pick your brain, what is the best way for them to get in touch with you? So you can reach me at my website, which is avergonmarketing.com, A-V-E-R-G-O-N, or you can reach me on LinkedIn. And I'm the only Seth Avergon on LinkedIn. Perfect. Thanks so much.